Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different video for y'all. I'm actually going to be flipping through my Traveler's Notebook. So if you didn't know, the Hobonichi Cousin that I plan in almost all the time is not my everyday planner. That planner is actually only for memory keeping and journaling. Uh, this little guy right here is my daily planner, so I thought it'd be fun to give y'all a view into my actual planner spreads. Um, so to begin with, this is a Chic Sparrow Mr. Darcy pocket size Traveler's Notebook in the color Toffee. I got it as a gift about four years ago. Um, I haven't used it consistently since then, but I've been using him now for about three months and I'm really enjoying the system I have set up. So um, nothing special really on the outside, except on the bottom here, I have a few charms. So I have this little heart charm this acorn, and this little bear. All three of those were also gifts, but if I can find out where they're from, I will link them down below. Um, because I do carry this planner with me everywhere, um, I don't want to, I've never wanted to put like an expensive or fancy pen in the pen loop just in case it gets lost, like it falls out. So I just carry a Muji gel pen. And then this pen loop was a freebie in an order a long time ago. I have no idea where that was from, so I'm sorry about that, but that is about it for the outside of my planner. I don't have any like front charms or anything. Um, before we go in, I will say that this is going to be a very simple setup. If you're not into functional planning or basic planner setups, you might not enjoy this video, but I just wanted to show y'all an honest look at my um, normal planning. So yeah, here we go. All right, so inside I do have three pockets over here and I don't really use any of them. I don't use the back one at all. The top one just has this little heart shaped paper clip sitting there in case I ever need it. And then the bottom one has this little piece of paper which is actually the inspection slip. <laughs> From my planner the person that gave it to me just left it in here so i left it too and that's all for the pockets my pocket game is uh, extremely weak in fact it's non-existent but that's okay because as i said this is a functional planner so and i have one of these clear dashboards in here with little pockets so i can put my own um, art or deco or whatever you whatever i want in here so in this first one I have a little ode to Mr. Darcy in the front with some scrapbook paper, and then I'll link where I got this silhouette of him down below as well. So that's the first thing I have. And then on this side I have a picture of the Argonath, Gates of Argonath from Lord of the Rings. Alright, then I, we come to my first notebook that I have in here. This is a uh, Moleskin or Moleskine, I honestly don't know how to pronounce it little notebook. There's the brand, if you can see it. Um, it's a grid notebook. And so down here in the bottom, I have a little vinyl. This is actually my old shop logo from a long, long time ago that I put on here. And then I have a little cutout of the Ham Half Firma Foundation. That's one of my favorite hymns. I have that sitting in there. Here's another view of my pen loop. And then this, as I said, it's a grid notebook, and all I do in here is make lists. So the current list it's on is a few little purchases I need to make for my house, like, you know, get a desk mat and space heater and stuff. So that's my first notebook. I also just kind of, any type of random information I need to record, it goes in here. Um, I also do some financial information. That's why I'm not flipping through it, because a lot of these pages have, like, financial notes and things on them. So there's also some washi tape samples in here. Uh, this notebook is basically a catch-all. Anything I need to record, it just goes in here. There's no index. There's no record of where anything is. Usually once I finish a page, I just scribble it out and then I know not to look at it anymore if I don't need the information. So yeah, that is my first page, or first notebook rather. On the back of that notebook, I have a few sticky notes. These are from my shop. I just keep these here in case I ever need to make a quick note and give it to someone. That way I don't have to rip out a page out of my uh, little notebooks here. I also have a Winston vinyl decal. 
Um, both these vinyls were test vinyls that I did when I was first starting to sell vinyls because, uh, of course, I like to make sure things work, so I would take the vinyl and put it in my notebook and then use the notebook for a few weeks to make sure it would hold up. So, yeah, these have been in here for a few years now, so I'd say they're holding up pretty well. <laughs> All right, the back of this um, clear dashboard has some more scrapbook paper and then a little clipping from an, a vintage copy of Jane Eyre. And on the very back is this vintage photograph. Oh, I don't think I mentioned, but I have four strings in this in this traveler's notebook. I only use two though. I just don't need that many notebooks, so I have two unused strings. In the past, I have used all four strings, but I just don't need the notebooks. Like I would just have extra notebooks in here, um, or I would keep like a scrapbook or something in here. And I just decided to sacrifice the chunkiness which i really like for um functionality so next up i have this little uh like acetate cover thingy um and i added this pocket onto it and inside of this pocket i just have a few stickers from the ac studio i have some tabs right there and that's the sampler that came with my order i don't really use stickers in this planner but i didn't know what else to do with those so i just went ahead and Put them in here. All right, now I have another moleskin notebook. This one's actually upside down and backwards, but I'm already using it, so I just left it that way. And on the front cover is a sticker of Winston holding a heart. So this is another green notebook. This is actually where I do my weekly spreads. I also do dailies in here if I need more space to write um, notes about what I did. At the top, I have some little like page flag sticky notes. Those are from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I also have this, this sticky note with some information for work that I needed a long time ago and I just kept it in there. This page, it was supposed to be an index, but um, I don't find myself going back to my old spreads in here. So I kind of left off writing that. Um, I'm, I might go back and fill it out when I'm done with this planner if I decide to keep this notebook, but anyway, here is my weekly layout. So this is the current week. Um, right now it's Monday, which is why nothing is marked off yet, but as you can see, I do a week on two page spread. I put my, um, I got my weekly calendar on this side and I put any big events or tasks that I need to do over here. And on the right side, I have a to-do list, a happy mail list, and a habit tracker. So it's taken me a while to perfect, if you can call it perfected, the spread, type of spread I like to do in here. Basically, when I look at my planner, I just need to see what big events do I need to accomplish on each specific day, and then what things do I have to do throughout the week. I also keep track of mail, you know, just so I can know when I need to go check my mail or so I can keep track of any orders in case they're late. And then I just recently started tracking habits again. That's because I want to be more serious with myself about studying the Bible and learning Russian. So yeah, this is my little system. As I said, no stickers. I just use pen and highlighter and I just cross things off when they're done. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, which is why I don't show this planner that much. But it's really nice to have a planner where I don't worry about how does this look? Does this sticker uh, match with my washi tape and all that stuff? Um, it allows my brain to focus so much more on what I'm actually doing as opposed to how things look. I don't want to miss out on noting something important because I'm concerned with how it looks. You know what I mean? So this is the like heart of my planning right now. Um, yeah, that's, that's it for this little notebook. Um, nothing on the back of this notebook. I have another pocket on the back of my little acetate dashboard and inside I have some Little freebies. This is actually the October freebie from my shop. So if you order during October, you will get this freebie And a couple other freebies again. I don't use stickers in here very much But if I don't use a freebie immediately when I get it, I don't know what to do with it normally. So I just um, tuck them in here And I do have a back pocket. Oh, well so this planner, it does have its own pen loop, as you can see, but it's just very inconvenient. Let me show you. 
So if I put my pen in this pen loop, first of all, the pen hangs down way below the planner, um, which I don't really like. And then the planner will be like this, unless you pull it out, pull the pen loop out like this. Um, which I have done before, but I don't like it because it, it actually starts indenting on your notebooks. Um, just the pressure of the elastic pushing it into the notebooks. So I don't do that anymore. I just use the pen loop I got from that freebie, that got as a freebie from that shop. And I like this a lot better because when you close this planner with this on there, it fits almost perfectly inside the covers. So. And that's why I don't use this pen loop back here. And by the way, if you are looking to get a planner like this, Shakespeare has updated their pen loop style, so it's no longer like this. Their new style is a lot better. So don't let the pen loop putting you off, put you off from getting a planner like this. Anyway, there's a back pocket back here, and I do have a few things in there. Let's see what I have in there. I never go through this, okay. I have some stamps. That's because I like to send postcards when I go places, so I just keep some stamps in there. I have this this is a piece of note paper from one of my old old planners i guess i put it in there in case i needed paper someday i have this cute little note that ashley wrote me i don't even remember what this was in reference to but obviously i thought it was cute so i tore it off and put it in the back of my planner i have some more scrapbook paper and then these are lists of leathers i like from Shakespeare and foxy fix in case i ever feel like shopping for another traveler's book because as I said, I've been really enjoying this. Sorry, it got stuck back there. I've been really enjoying this planner and I have not yet decided what planner I'm gonna be using next year. So I have done a little bit of perusing the Foxy Fix and Cheap Sparrow websites just in case anything catches my eye. So yeah, just being honest with y'all about that. And I, there's so many leathers, so I just like to keep a keep a note of which ones I like. But yeah, so that is my little Shakespeare, Mr. Darcy. I love him very, very much. He's been so helpful to me over the last few months. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of short and a little bit simple, but maybe it gave you some ideas for your own planning. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know below. Um, I always love reading y'all's comments and hearing y'all's feedback. I appreciate it so, so much. I have no idea how much it makes my day. But yeah, thank you very, very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.